But first, the party was unpermitted. As it turns out, the rental unit was unpermitted too. As Cleveland police continue to investigate a New Year's Eve party that turned into a shooting that killed three people, city officials and Airbnb take action. Officials say under city code, the apartment where that shooting happened could not legally be used as an Airbnb. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg joins us live to explain why, Jordan. Well, to really understand why, you have to go back to 2016 when the city council approved changes to city code, which issued new requirements for people offering their homes and their apartments on websites like Airbnb. Those rules, city officials say, appear to have been broken. No one wanted 2018 to end this way. Three men dead, many more lives forever changed. Even those that were staying in a unit across the hall from where the shooting took place. We were just really scared and emotional. There was a lot of crying. <laughs> Police say it happened at a New Year's Eve party. That party, according to the online listing, was against the property owner's rules when the unit was booked through Airbnb. Councilman Anthony Brancatelli says the short-term rental service has otherwise been a positive for the city. We've had very few problems. Um, this is somebody who rented it, had a party, got out of control, horrific things happened. Um, and as the system works and what we have asked for folks who are doing this limited lodging, I received an email from Airbnb today that they took these folks down as a host and they can no longer rent their place as an Airbnb. An Airbnb spokesperson would only confirm that the guest who booked the unit was banned and the listing has been removed. However, Brancatelli says the person who owned and operated the short-term rental violated a set of rules the city passed in 2016. Those rules limit the number of times a year that people can offer their places for rent. City code also requires the host to be an owner-occupant. If you have a building that you don't live in, um, and especially a building that looks and feels like an apartment building, um, it, it is in fact illegal and that you're not allowed to do an Airbnb in those particular locations based on city code. The Airbnb host in this case was otherwise highly rated, even earning the title of super host through multiple rentals at the four apartment units inside the building. But now that appears to be in jeopardy. Brancatelli says the rules are designed to protect consumers, neighborhoods, and legitimate hosts. We can mitigate it as best we can. Um, and when something horrific like this happens, we have to have the ability to react to it. We reacted, they shut them down as a host. Um, and that's all we can ask for, for people to be responsible. The property owner has not returned our calls for comment and an Airbnb spokesperson says the guest who rented the unit has been banned as well. The investigation on the criminal side is ongoing. Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.